we feel a tinge of sadness when we read about the biggest ships in the world, but don't mention the RMS Titanic. But as it turns out, the once largest ship afloat now looks like a tugboat in comparison to some of these ships. From a boat that takes three miles to stop, to an ore carrier that means business, here are 15 of the biggest ships in the world. Number 15. Yara Viking. Imagine if a car stopped in front of you, making you have to slam on your brakes, but you couldn't come to a complete halt for three miles. That was the reality for any captain of the Yara Viking. This monstrosity of a ship was an oil tanker and the largest still afloat up until 2009. It's the Yara Viking, the largest moving man-made object on the planet. It used to be called the Seawise Giant, which seems to be quite fitting. This ship was a whopping 1,504 feet long, 225 feet wide, and had space for about 1.2 billion pounds of oil. Even with its bulk, it wasn't hitting the water at a snail's pace and still managed to trundle along at around 15 knots. However, it wasn't exactly the most comfortable ship to handle. If it needed to make an emergency stop, it took three miles to do it. And who knows what could happen in that time? Oh, we know. We just had iceberg-triggered memories. But, but it's not surprising why it took so long to bring it to a complete stop, and it's not because the captain was slow to act. Weighing nearly 190,000 tons, it would take considerable effort to stop that from moving in high seas. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. USS Enterprise. Anything related to the United States Navy is pretty impressive. Just think, they managed to wear a crisp white dress uniform and keep it clean. That's nearly impossible. So it's of no surprise to anyone that even their transport amazes people too. Especially the USS Enterprise. USS Enterprise, the best aircraft carrier the Navy ever built? The USS Enterprise CVN-65, which is now decommissioned, was an aircraft carrier. That in itself is something awe-inspiring, but she has a few accolades under her belt as well. She was one of the first of her kind to be nuclear-powered and was the longest naval vessel ever built. Grab a few measuring tapes, for it's going to take more than one to measure all 1,088 feet of this boat. But out of unoriginality or in keeping with tradition, the USS Enterprise is also not the first boat to bear this name. In fact, it's the eighth. And just like her predecessor that catered for crews during World War II, she gets called Big E. While the USS Enterprise is a little off being the heaviest boat, she's still the 12th heaviest, weighing in at 93,284 long tons. That means she's not about to be thrown around in the currents. Number 13. RMS Queen Mary II. If you thought you'd never be given the opportunity to travel aboard one of the biggest ships in the world, then think again. Sure, the RMS Titanic has well and truly been crossed off the list, but the RMS Queen Mary II hasn't been. The Queen Mary II will present to you a truly enchanting and unique charm. This boat is the seventh largest cruise ship in the world, and in 2013 had the title of the largest ocean liner ever made as well. She's 1,131 feet long, carries gross tonnage of 148,528, and travels at speeds of around 35 miles per hour or over 30 knots. She's clearly got places to be and people to see. 
Queen Elizabeth II named RMS Queen Mary II in 2004, which is clearly a case of shameless royal promotion. She is the flagship of the Cunard Line and was purpose-built as a passenger ship ocean liner, rather than the more common cruise ship. As a result, she has been used for cruising, regular services around England and New York City, annual world cruises, and more. Queen Mary II, even in 2020, remains the only purpose-built ocean liner. Number 12. Veilmax Carrier Ships Transportation companies face a tricky problem when trying to move ore. Ore is a natural rock with desirable minerals like metal, and rocks are heavy. So if you're going to be carrying some of the heaviest materials from point A to point B, then you're going to need to arrange the big guns. And those big guns are Veilmax carrier ships. Brazilian mining company Vale SA owns a fleet of Vale Max ships that carry iron ore from Brazil to both Asian and European ports. And they're no small tugboats either. These monstrous boats can carry up to 400,000 tons of dead weight and are the largest bulk carriers ever made. When you compare their length of around 1,188 feet to their tonnage, it's clear to see that these big boys mean business. They are 98 feet deep, use low-speed diesel engines, and travel at speeds of up to 17 miles per hour or 15 knots. Knowing this information might have you think that these powerful big boats are probably quite power-hungry and not a friend of Mother Nature, but you'd be wrong. Here's a fun fact, Veilmax carrier ships are some of the most efficient in the world, emitting 35% fewer greenhouse gases than standard or transportation freighters. Number 11, TI Container Ships. If you're gonna be moving heavy items like containers and oil around the world, you're gonna need to call in the main players, and nothing less than the best will do. That's why TI-class super tankers, which are mega tankers, make up the fleet of a leading transportation company. Tankers International owns a fleet of boats consisting of TI Africa, TI Europe, TI Oceania, and TI Asia. Their previous names were Hells Pont Alhambra, Hells Pont Fairfax, Hells Pont Metropolis, and Hells Pont Terra. These names don't exactly roll off the tongue, though, do they? The ships were manufactured for the company called Hellspot by South Korea's Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Building in 2003 in Okpo. However, by 2004, the ships were bought by a Belgian ship owner. The entire TI range of boats is nothing short of impressive. They are 1,247 feet long, have a tonnage of 234,006, and can travel at nearly 19 miles per hour or 16.5 knots fully loaded. In 2010, TI Asia and TI Africa became oil storage vessels, but the rest remain container ships. They also all retain their titles as the world's most giant double-hulled super tankers. Number 10. Oasis Class Cruisers. You might think that you need to stay in a world-famous city to see Broadway shows and dine in some of the best restaurants. But as it turns out, you just need to book a ticket onto an Oasis-class cruiser from Royal Caribbean. Considerably more luxurious than other cruise ships, these cruisers will turn heads. They are considered to be the largest cruise ships in the world and comfortably cater for 6,000 passengers on each journey. They are around 1,181 feet long, 236 feet tall, and travel at about 26 miles per hour. But once you've got 6,000 people on board the international cruise ship, what are you supposed to do with all of them? Leave it up to Royal Caribbean to create the ultimate vacation for your family. After all, if you've got a big ship, you can have a big activity list. Families, couples, and individuals can dine in specialty restaurants, sleep in one of seven neighborhoods on the boat, and watch some exciting production shows like Grease. The kids can even go zip lining on an open deck or shake their booties in the dance club. 
you certainly don't have to rough it on board one of the largest cruise ships in the world. Number 9. Pioneering Spirit Laying oil and gas platforms in the middle of the ocean won't exactly be the most straightforward job. It can be hard enough filling your car with gas and trying to manage the pumps, let alone laying the pipes for the stuff in the ocean. But there's no need to worry about it being a challenge anymore, for the pioneering spirit is making it a whole lot easier. The pioneering spirit is one of the biggest ships ever made, at 1,253 feet long and 407 feet wide. While its size is impressive, so is the vital job it has to do. The boat was built as a single lift installation slash decommissioning and pipe lay vessel. That means that it can remove and install large oil and gas platforms while also helping with the installation of pipelines. The twin hull boat can lift 48,000 tons at a time, which is certainly not something most other ships are capable of. Its first mission was to the Southern North Sea for offshore trials before carrying out removal exercises. The company that produced it, Delta Marin, has full permission to boast. From its 932,000 ton displacement maximum to its ginormous size to suit the job, they've created a masterpiece of of the marine world. Number 8. MSC Oscar Have you ever wondered how those large items you order online from overseas get to where you are? If it can't fit in a plane, then the only way to get it to you is on a boat, and the ship delivering it very well could be MSC Oscar. This beautiful big boat is the world's largest container ship, capable of holding 19,224 20-foot containers at any one time. It smashed the previous record held by CSCL Globe of 19,000. The ship was put to work after sea trials in January 2015, and it has earned plenty of gold stars on its chart. It was the first of six same-capacity boats to be delivered to MSC Mediterranean Shipping Company and is one of 18 in total owned by the company, although none were as large as MSC Oscar at the time. The boat now operates between Asia and Europe on the east to west trade route and ticked off its maiden voyage two months after setting off in 2015. Having larger boats in the company's fleet has also allowed it to reduce its CO2 commissions, as it can now operate with fewer ships while carrying the same or more cargo. Number 7. OOCL Hong Kong Shipbuilders are always trying to outdo each other. They want to build the largest, the longest, the heaviest, the most eco-friendly, the list goes on. But the boat called OOCL Hong Kong, owned by Orient Overseas Container Line in Hong Kong, took a title for itself. It is the largest container ship by its carrying capacity. The ship was deployed on a 77-day round trip on the Asia-Europe trade lines in 2017 after being delivered to the company just in time for Christmas of 2016. It was put straight into service, with trips scheduled to more destinations than most people will travel in a lifetime. Gee, what a lucky boat. But what it's carrying on those journeys makes this boat even more impressive. Its mammoth size of 1,312 feet means it's capable of carrying 21,000 20-foot shipping containers. To carry that much heft sure takes a lot of fuel, but it's got plenty of capacity here, too. Alongside all those containers, it can comfortably carry around 3.2 million imperial gallons of fuel. That's enough to fill over 204,000 cars. Number 6. Seawise Giant Before the Yara Viking was known as it was, it used to be called the Seawise Giant, and it's deserving to be mentioned by one of its first names because this ship is and was indeed something special. With a 1500 foot length, it sure did need a lot of big components to make it operate. Its rudder alone weighed 230 tons, which is the same weight as around 164 cars. 
It was also a little under 230 feet wide and had a cargo capacity of over 560,000 deadweight tons. Even though the French Battleist class super tankers from the 1970s had a higher gross tonnage, the Seawise Giant got the gold star for its larger, fully loaded displacement. To put into perspective just how big this boat is, it's nearly twice as long as the Titanic. Throughout its 30-year lifespan, it was renamed six times, changed hands equally as many times, and survived being sunk by a missile, courtesy of Saddam Hussein. Even though it was a write-off, it still managed to be renovated and put back into service for over two more decades. Eventually, it was sold for scrap in India in 2009. Number 5. Q-Max Ships not only is this ship pretty unique because it has the vital job of carrying liquefied natural gas, but it's also huge. Q-Max ships are 1,132 feet long, 114 feet high, and can travel at speeds of 19 miles per hour. If that's not impressive enough, they're also capable of carrying 9,400,000 cubic feet of natural gas. Nearly as much as your dad. While Q-Max is a pretty cool name for a ship, it was chosen for a reason. Q stands for Qatar, while Max refers to the maximum ship size that can dock at Qatar's LNG terminals. That gives you a rough idea of just how massive these boats are. Unlike standard shipping boats, these ones have special membranes that separate the interior vessel insulator and the cargo. Otherwise, you'd be captaining one of the most dangerous ships in the world, not only one of the largest. The first boat of this kind was launched for the first time in 2007, then had a naming ceremony on Goje Island in South Korea the following year. She was named Moza, and there are now 14 sister vessels in service just like her. Number 4. CSCL Globe a global call went out to shipping businesses to try and lower emissions. While it can be hard to build an eco-friendly boat, it is possible to build larger ships so that there are less of them in the water from most companies. China Shipping Container Lines, based in Shanghai, was potentially doing just that when they ordered $700 million worth of container ships from Ulsan, South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries. The order was made up of five boats in 2013 that could carry 19,000 20-foot shipping containers. The company also ordered four other boats, and they originally wanted them to be able to carry 18,400 containers. That was later changed to include 600 more. At the time, CSCL Globe, the first ship to roll off the production line, would become the world's largest container ship. It would overtake the Triple E-class container ship owned by Maersk Line that could house 18,000 containers. However, by 2015, the title was clinched by MSC Oscar, which could carry 19,224 20-foot containers. Tough luck, CSCL Globe. It's nice to have the accolade while it lasted. Number 3. Club Med 2. To look at Club Med 2, you might be confused as to how it's one of the biggest ships in the world. After all, if this boat makes the cut, then why doesn't the Titanic? Well, this boat is in a league of its own, and we're not going to apologize for it. Club Med 2 is one of the biggest sailing cruise ships in the world. So it might not carry thousands of shipping containers, but it's pretty big compared to the average sailing boat. It can take a crew of 214, around 386 passengers, and it runs with five masts on computer controls. The technology of this boat is pretty amazing as well. It utilizes the power of seven sails operated by computer, then partners them with diesel-electric power. It has four diesel generators to power two electric motors, and it travels at speeds of up to 17 miles per hour. Sure does know how to move its 636-foot length at high speeds. The boat is owned and operated by Club Med and is used as a cruise ship. It sails around the Mediterranean, Aegean, and Adriatic seas, then hits the Caribbean in the winter. 
Number 2. Planet Solar Solar technology has evolved at a rapid pace, and you're able to buy a massive number of products that run on solar energy. But up until 2010, few of them were boats. That was until Planet Solar was built, and it became the largest solar boat ever built. The MS Turinor Planet Solar is the world's largest solar-powered boat. Niram Yachtbau built Planet Solar in Kiel, Germany for the Switzerland business Planet Solar. It was 101 feet long, had a displacement of 85 tons, and looked a little bit like a spaceship with photovoltaic panels covering the entire top of the boat. Right from the beginning, the boat was designed and built for a major undertaking. It would be circumnavigating the world so that it could become the first multi-hull vessel using solar energy to do so. It set off on its journey in 2010 and covered 31,000 miles in just 160 days. It sailed from Marseilles, crossed both the Atlantic Ocean and Panama Canal, and then through the Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, and Suez Canal before ending up in the Mediterranean. The boat can produce 93.5 kilowatts of power with 18.8% efficiency. It was also designed by a naval architecture and yacht design company in Auckland, New Zealand called Lemotion Design. Number 1. Battleist Class Super Tanker Shell didn't exactly pick the best timing to build the largest ships by gross tonnage. Still, it doesn't detract from just how impressive the Battleist class super tankers really were. The first one was built for Shell Oil in 1976 before the international oil market slumped between 1977 and 1980. When things didn't pick up, the boat only made four round trips before it was cut back to one or two in 1982. It was scrapped for less than $8 million in 1985 in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. Not exactly the best business move of the time. However, all super tankers in the Battleist class are deserving of a mention. They range in gross tonnage from 275,000 tons to 550,000, and they all had lengths of 1,358 feet. To put that into perspective, that's longer than many of the tallest skyscrapers of the time, and even many today. While the main boat for Shell may have been scrapped, that also can't detract from the incredible engineering feat. Until pioneering spirit came along, these super tankers were in a league of their own. Only the super tanker Seawise Giant was larger. You might be impressed with your fishing boat in the driveway or your double kayak that's your pride and joy, but how do they compare to these boats? Have you seen any of these ships mentioned above in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!